Hey there, I just wanted to share how easy it is to travel really light and yet take all your art gear. So I, I've basically got a whole heap of stuff in here, including my Bloom's Travel paint box, three dresses, a computer, extra power cords, toiletries, come and have a look. I'll show you. Come on into our uh, accommodation in Faro in Portugal. And this is all I've travelled with. Usually, usually I travel with two big cases as I'm doing workshops and stuff, but this is just me. I out of Paris with a little um, backpack. So um, this is where my daughter and I are staying for a few days. And we're going to do some touring and painting. But here's my uh, suitcase. So let's have a look, see how this works. Okay. Can't go anywhere without my computer, so I've got my cord. I've got my dress, which has got three, oh, bag, which has got three, three, um, three dresses and a pair of bathers. Computer, of course. My Bloom's Travel paint box. So that's actually more than half my space in here. Uh, a spare um, shopping bag. Awesome speaker, extra power cord and earplugs, extra plugs and stuff there. Some sweeties and mints and USBs. Oh, I just found the butter mint bowls. I'll look for those. Okay, here we go. So um, inside the travel paint box, it's got everything I need. So if I want, I could set up here and work. Um, so yeah, I think let's show from there. That'd be good. And basically, I can put travel with my canvases inside there. So I've got a couple of canvases that I'm, I'm, I'm reusing there, and the fresh one. And then when they're wet, you just put them in there. I've got a, a concertina uh, a little book that I was able to fit in there if I want to do a long artwork. I've got a palette. I've got some paper to make a wet palette. Keep my paints nice and fresh. Folds out. Put all my brushes, everything's in here. I've even got some masking fluid because I'm thinking about having a play with that on some paper that I've got. I've got all my paints there. The uh, blooms, uh, my, my little palette, which I actually didn't clean perfectly well before I left, can go there. So anyway, I'll just put my painting, my, my canvas in the front there. And um, I've got my paints on here, and I've got my medium. I've got a range of brushes. I've got the puddle brushes as well if I want to work a bit larger. And I've just got a range of small tubes of paint. These are just 12 mil tubes um, in you know a set of 18. I'm actually doing these free with the paint boxes at the moment. Uh, so it's really cool because it just means you've got all your colours. And then I just recommend you get yourself an extra tube of white as well because white is the thing you use the most. You've got your um, little dippers. So you can put your water and things in there and then you, you, you clip it on the side. It just has a little clip that clips on. And then there's plenty of room to throw in extra tools like maybe pens and pencils that you might like to draw with. Somewhere in my bag I've got, um, down one of my other hidey holes in my bag, I've got a, another sketchbook. Yeah, and then I just throw in a couple of extra colours that I know that I like. I like to have a, a good pink with me, just in case I do something floral. I like a good raw umber. Sometimes you can take paint a whole painting in raw umber. But anyway, there you go. And I can take this out and I can hold it, sort of usher it style and hands-free and paint on plain air as well. So it's really cool. So I just wanted to show you that you can fit all of that in the pack and... Uh, and you know, it's really easy to, uh, to travel light. So, you know, it would have been under 10 kilos with all of that. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Just wanted to share from Faro in Portugal. Cool. And that was Jacqueline Coates.